Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Joe or Arcus Mickey. Thank you so much for joining me today in this video on how to get your best Zim or XM Apex settings. So make sure you have a paper and pen close by you. Also, make sure you have a calculator or just even your phone. That way you can be able to multiply and divide the numbers that I'm about to show you. This works for any game. It can work from Rainbow Six Siege, Call of Duty, Overwatch, Battlefield, PUBG, as you can see here. Just any game in general. Let's get to this. First of all, before we go any further, I would like to say, God bless you in Jesus name. I really hope you're having a good day, a fantastic day. And if not, don't worry. I'll take the beautiful time right now and say, I bless your day right now in Jesus name, that you will have a better day in Jesus name. So. I know everybody, <laughs> everybody out there wants to have that shroud aim and wrist movement. Keep in mind that your Zim is an emulator, not a PC. All right, let's just go with that in mind real quick. Nonetheless, I am here to teach you how to get your best apex sensitivity. First of all, you're going to want to choose your game of your choice. In my case, it's PUBG. So what you're going to want to do is, of course, you're going to want to drop far away from everybody. Make sure you go to like, I don't know, probably one of the corners of the map, somewhere away where no one is, like just away from everybody. That way you can have the time and so you can be able to, I don't know, pick up a pistol or something to it. So you can be able to work this out the way you want to. So first of all, you're going to want to grab a weapon, just any weapon, doesn't matter. It can be a pistol. Well, yeah, yeah, just not a melee weapon. Okay. Just make sure you get a pistol and go outside and find a flat surface. Now, this is what you're going to try to do. You're going to try to do a full 360 turn from one end to the other on your mouse pad. Some people have a full desk uh, mouse pad and some people have that small mouse pad. Just, you know, something that you can hold on to. If you have a full desk mouse pad, just, you know, try to try to just see how much of it do you use. But if you have that small mouse pad, just do from one end to the other. All right. Try to slide from one end to the other, trying to do a full 360 turn. All right. And as you're doing this, you're going to try to look around. Make sure you look for something small that you can aim at. In my case, as you can see here, was this little sign. That was the best sign that I can find to be able to just aim at and try to see my sensitivity through there. In my case, when I tried it, 40 was the best one for me to be able to do a 360 turn. So now I'm going to take that number and I'm going to multiply it by 1.5. So it's going to be 40 times 1.5 equals 60 in my case. And now I have to divide it by two as well. That same number, which is 40. So it's going to be 40 divided by two, which equals 20. So now I have three different types of sensitivities that I want to try out. In my case, as I'm showing here, is going to be 60, 40, and 20. The way you're going to test this out is by aiming at an object, something small, for example, like I, I said here, that little sign. And you're going to strafe from left to right or right to left, trying to do your best to stay on target. If you are swinging away, that is not your sensitivity. The less you swing away, the better. After trying these sensitivities, the one that felt best for me was 20. Now take that number and you're going to do the same thing again. You're going to multiply by 1.5. So it's 20 times 1.5 equals 30. Now I'm going to divide it by 2. 20 divided by 2 equals 10. So now I have three different sensitivities. Now that I tried 20, 20 was the first one, felt okay. So now I'm going to take that same number and that's what I did. So now I'm trying out these uh, three different sensitivities right here, which is 30, 20, and 10. So at the numbers that I got, which of course you guys know, which is 30, 20, and 10, those are my three numbers that I ended up getting. I tried those out. And I ended up feeling no difference between 20 and 10. So when this happens, it's better if you just go with the highest one. In my case, it was 20. But for some of you, like if you got 30, that felt better or 10, that felt better. You're just going to take that same number and do the whole process again of multiplying it by 1.5 and dividing it by 2. Same, same process all over again. But once again, for me, I got stuck on 20. So what I'm going to do is take the highest number, which is 30, and add it by 20 and divide it by two. Then do the same thing with the lowest one. What do I mean? I mean this. So it's gonna be 30 plus 20 divided by two 
in my case equals 25. And then I'm going to take 20 plus 10 divided by 2 equals 15. So now I have three different sense, new sensitivities to try out, which is 25, 20, and 15. This time, it was a you know it was a little bit more harder for me to be able to figure out which one was better, just because they all felt quite the same. I ended up I ended up you know just going up with the with the lowest one in this case because that's the one that helped me out the most. That's the one that I felt more more precise with. I mean, 20 still felt good, but yet again, 15 felt even better. So I just went with the lowest one. Now I'm going to do the same process again, which is 15 times 1.5 equals 22.5. And 15 divided by 2 equals 7.5. Alrighty, so just like, just like last time, man, I mean, I got stuck again with this number. 15 still felt the same. It felt best one. Just like the other one. Remember, it was 20 and it felt the same. felt better. I mean, yeah, 20 felt the same. And 15 is feeling the same way once again. So I'm just going to take the other two numbers, which is 22.5. And I'm going to add that by 15, then divide it by 2. Then I'm going to take that same number, 15.75, and I'm going to divide it by 2. See the numbers I get. In my case, I got 18.75 and 11.25 the difference between these sensitivities was close to zero dude like it was it was barely even noticeable so i tried them out and the best sensitivity for me was 18.75 with this sensitivity i was able to move fast and stay on target this this honestly right here is probably the best way i can show you how to be able to get your best apex sensitivity you may ask yourself like how will I know what's the best sensitivity for me? My answer to you is when you notice that there is barely no difference in the numbers. Like, for, for instance, for me, when I tried 18.75, I kept moving left and right, and I didn't see that swing away. You know, I didn't see that big, heavy swing away. When I tried 11.25, I didn't feel it either. When I tried 15, I didn't feel it either. So I just went with the highest one, which in my case was 18.75. But yet again, it could still be different for you. It just depends on how, I guess you can say the level of your dexterity, how fast you can move. I've never asked this before, but you know, if you like this video, please leave a like down below. And if it was helpful, please consider subscribing and turning on that notification button. That way you can stay up to date with the videos and live streams that I end up doing. So you can join, have fun, you know, just be with us. And I invite everybody that wants to play. You don't, I'm not like those people like, oh, you know, if you donate, you have a higher preference or if you're a sponsor, you, you already have a spot there or whatnot. No, it's basically first come, first serve. That's how I like for me. Like if you want to play, hey, you're here to play. Let's play. Let's go. Nonetheless, God bless you. And now, let's get to our beautiful daily verse. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, so here we go, finally, with the beautiful daily verse, man. Here we go. It's going to be Matthew 16, 24 through 26. And this is going to be awesome, dude. Here's the thing. You have three major enemies. Alright? You have this world. You have your flesh. And Satan. Now, out of those three, what is your biggest enemy? give you a quick few seconds three two one all right out of those three your biggest enemy it's not satan it's not the world it's you yourself is the biggest enemy let's go ahead and read what jesus tells his disciples right here then jesus told his disciples if anyone would come after me let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. And he goes off saying on 26. For what will, for what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world 